What's up guys, Rob the Awesome here, and today I'm going to be trying my luck at unboxing 10 of the all new Blue Moon cosmetic cases. Will I get some cool new hats? Will I get an unusual? Let's find out. All right, so we got the 10 Blue Moon cosmetic cases right here, as well as the 10 keys. Let's get straight to unboxing. Let's see what we get here. Uh, open with a key. Yep, I'm sure. Bring it on. All right, here we go. First unbox of the day. What are we going to get? Waiting for a response. Crate gives me a strange Aristotle. Good. Nice. So this is essentially just the spy's own little bird. It's got a nice, cute medic mask on him. Uh, like the Archimedes. It's kind of cute, really. And we've got a strange version of it, too. Nice. What a good first unbox. All right. Case number two. Case number two. Boom. Here we go. Open up the crate. Waiting for a response, as always. Gotta love those item servers. And we got a strange count transfer tool. Nice. That'll be handy for some of my sniper rifles. And the next item we got is the... Veterans attire. I assume this is for the soldier, but man, that looks actually really cool. It kind of looks like space age with medieval. Like, I can see a lot of sets working for this. Man, I can't wait to put this on. All right, number three, open with a key. Yes, I'm sure. Come on, baby. Give me something good. Give me an unusual. Waiting for that response. And we got a... Antarctic eyewear. Ah, so this is the multi-class hair hat for the scout and a couple of other classes. All right, that's not too bad. It looks pretty good. Uh, pretty good. I was hoping for a strange one, but that's okay. Let's uh, let's go on to the next unbox. Number four, open with a key. Yes. Okay, come on. Here we go. Come on. Come on. You gotta love that. Cray, come on. Give it to me. We got a... The hot case. So this is a pyro trench coat, obviously, the hot case, but... Huh, interesting, interesting. I wonder if that's going to work well with my uh, anthropod hat for the pyro. The, it doesn't look too bad. I can't wait to put that on as well. Man, these cosmetics are looking really good. Good cosmetic case. All right, number five. Open with a key. Yes. Give it here. Give it here. Come on. Go, come on. Give it here. What are we getting? We are getting a the head hedge. This is one of those camo hats for the sniper. And I saw the paintable aspects on the community workshop. This hat looks really good with a coat of paint, man. Man, that looks so cool. And the, and the leaves are well textured. And man, this is a good hat. Like... If you're if if you have like a military sniper hat or set, man, this will this will go really well with it. All right, number six, come on, baby, number six, give me something amazing. Give me like a strange, give me like an unusual. We got the strange blizzard breeches. Nice. I think these are the pants for the scout. It, it looks like this with his crazy legs and stuff like that. Dude, what a great unbox, and it's strange too. Oh man, this is this is gonna look good on the scout. I I, I can just tell you that it's gonna look great with uh, any like the, the 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 shirt scout cosmetics for the scout. Oh man, this looks good. All right, let's move on. Lucky number seven. Seven's always my lucky number when it comes to unboxes. Come on, give me something amazing. Ooh, the Sar Platinum. We got the JoJo shirt. Nice for the heavy. Dude, what a great unbox. I am so happy with this. All right, moving on. Lucky number eight. Well, it's not so lucky as seven, but let's hope eight gives us the rest of the JoJo set. What do we get? Yes! Scourge of the Sky! This is the meta cosmetic I've actually wanted. This could easily replace my Medicine Man purse. This could replace... Uh, wow, this is good. Nice. This was a good unbox. This is the one item in the entire cosmetic case I really wanted for medic. And true enough, it's the only medic-only cosmetic in there, so... Thank goodness we got it. Nice. Good unbox. All right. Two more left to go. Number nine. What are we going to get? Waiting for a response. Come on. Give it here. We got another. Ooh, this one's a strange this time. It's a strange veteran's attire. So we got a double, but this one's a strange. So it's a lot better. Nice. Awesome. We got a duplicate, but this one's a strange. I'm okay with that. Let's open our last case. All right, last but not least, we got number 10. Number 10, what are we going to get? Come on, baby. What are we going to get? Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. And we got a assassin's attire. Nice. This is like a fancy little coat for the spy, clearly. And, ooh, nice. Oh, man, we've got nothing but really good unboxes today. Let's go check them out in the loadouts right now. Oh, dude, look at the britches and the hat cosmetic combination with the thermal th tracker, too. Oh, my goodness. This looks really cool. It looks like a, like a, like a sick anime character or something. These are, these are, this is a great combination. And I'm glad we got the strange pants. Like, that was a nice little bonus. This looks really good on the scout. 
Aw, oh, baby, look at the strange veteran's attire and the head hedge as well. Dude, this actually pairs very well. You could even paint the, the head hedge like a team spirit color or something to match it and looks really cool i'm i'm really liking that the the veterans attire will fit so many sets man this is a great item for soldier guaranteed ah uh, dude look at the hot case on our pyro this looks really good with the anthropods aspect and the pyromancer's hood it actually just flows there's there, there's a little bit of clipping on the back there but otherwise it's actually pretty darn good looking i mean no one's gonna look back there uh, unless you're a spy but pyros take out spies so at the end of the day it's a really great cosmetic I don't know if the Antarctic eyewear goes well with the Demo Man. I mean, it's a shaved version of the hat, and it looks okay, but I don't know. It, it clips with a lot of cosmetics for him, and overall, I don't think it really fits for him. But otherwise, it looks it looks good on other classes, to say the least. Oh, there we go. There's the Sar Platinum Goods. Ooh, look at it. Let's look at the back here. Let's look all around the heavy. This this cosmetic looks really, really good. I'm, I'm happy they added some of the JoJo cosmetics. We didn't get the hat, unfortunately, but we got the Sar Platinum, which is pretty much all I really wanted from the heavy anyway, since a, a lot of the headgear for the heavy is good on its own. But man, this is great. Uh, this would finish any heavy set out there. Good choice to add this to the Blue Moon cosmetic case. <laughs> Look at the engineer. He looks like a nerd. Oh, man. The Antarctic eyewear goes for different classes and stuff like that. And I just wanted to see what it looks like on the engineer. It's just it's just a bunch of different anime hairstyles for different classes, which is okay, I guess. I mean, it doesn't look too bad on the engineer. I bet it would fit a lot of sets, and it, it does take away from the goggles as well. Nice touch. I like it on the engineer. Now, this is what I've been looking forward to on my medic. Look at the Scourge of the Sky. Like... It goes around my Man of Reason, and it's a great torso piece. You can see there's a little bit of clipping there on the neck, but otherwise, it's not that bad. You know what? In fact, when you look at the little uh, clipping in the center of the neck, it looks like the it looks like a spy swiped my neck with the melee weapon of his, and it, it, it tore off some of the cloth. So even the clipping has like a sort of backstory to it. I'm sort of I'm really loving this on the Man of Reason. Will this officially replace my Man Purse though? I don't know, but it's definitely a great cosmetic for any of the medics loadouts. Ah, there's the head hedge for the sniper. That looks really good, man. That looks really good. This was definitely meant to be a sniper hat. Oh, man. And the leaves are just like, there's layers of layers of leaves all around. It's really good. You really blend in. I'm glad they added this. Whew. Really high textured hats all around in this update. Good choices, Valve. Good choices. And there's the Aristotle and the Assassin's Attire. Man, this combination looks pretty good. I mean, the Assassin's Attire doesn't look well textured, but Aristotle was a nice touch. I'm glad they finally gave Spy a bird. This all looks pretty good. I like it. I mean, uh, there's other better suits for the Spy, but otherwise, really good. I, I loved all the unboxes we got, and the Blue Moon's cosmetic case is definitely worth opening. And that was the unboxing of the brand new Blue Moon Cosmetic Cases. Tell me what you guys think in the comments below. Comment what your favorite thing in the cosmetic case is, as well as your ideas for new cosmetics you'd like to see next. I'd love to hear it. Every sub counts, and you guys are just one click away from more awesome content. Also, if we manage to hit 50,000 subscribers, I'll be doing a super duper unusual giveaway. So, if you got the message, be sure to type NICE UNBOX in all caps to let me know. Remember to be awesome, stay awesome, and to have an awesome day. I'm Rob the Awesome, and I'll see you guys later. Ciao for now. Motherfucker, I'm awesome. No, you're not, dude. Don't lie. I'm awesome. I'm driving around in my mom's ride. I'm awesome. A quarter of my life gone by, and I met all my friends online. Motherfucker, I'm awesome. I will run away from a brawl. I'm awesome. There's no voicemail, nobody calls. I'm awesome. I can't afford to buy eight balls, and I talk to myself on my Facebook wall. You know my pants sag low.